Very shocking, unbelievable. APC secret meetings with regards to what they intend from the Southeast expose. They were having a carcass meeting and in that meeting, they said even with the numbers of those INEC has said, you know, um, has those INEC have said registered in the Southeast, which apparently may not be true, that they are expecting 25% in a strategic meeting you know, a, 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 a leak message of what they discussed is being out, that they're expecting 25% and nothing more from the Southeast, okay? So with this Southeast that destruction of lives and property is going on, they said they're expecting 25% or the govern their governors in the Southeast will have them to face. So please don't forget to give us a thumbs up, like or share, subscribe. Let's get all the details. Uh, APC secret meeting of what they intend from the Southeast expose. We are expecting 25% vote from the Southeast. APC chairman Abdelmoun Abdu, Abdurrahim reveals. Chairman of the All Progressive Congress APC, we are expecting this to happen. Chairman of the ruling of Progressive Congress APC, Ademo Abdurrahim, has stated that his party is expecting to receive over 25% votes from the Southeast as they strategize looking at ways that they can get votes from the Southeast despite the fact that the people of the Southeast do not want APC. Ademo made his comment why inaugurating an eight-man Abia State Reconciliation Committee by the Senator Chris. He urged the leaders in the zone to rise above differences and work for the party's victory, ensuring that they have that since they have captured Imo and Eboi, it remains so. And everyone in those regions, they do all they can to ensure that votes come from this region and it comes from them. Not just from these two states, but other states controlled by the PDP. We must do all we can. He said, let Abia go and sit together. All the national, all the, all the national chairmen must work together. All the chairmen of the various states must work together. The Senate governorship presidential election, we will not be satisfied with just 25% vote from the East. We will make sure that the East bring more votes to prove to Nigerians that the East has, has accepted the APC government. This was a secret meeting he was having and discussions they were having to ensure that they have a say. We need the majority of the votes cast for APC on halfway, no halfway will be accepted. Do all you can. We must try to win every state. We have to do some work, stand together, get the people, unite the people, and we will do it. Adamo advised them, advised them against working against the party. Says you will be handsomely rewarded after the elections have taken place. Go and play politics. Start with the local government. Ensure that you win all local governments in the different states of the Southeast. Southeast must deliver to APC, he has suggested. So this is what Adamu was discussing with some APC uh, members in Abia, saying that uh, we know that we've already captured a boy. Okay, a boy is captured and we know uh, Imo is our state, according to him, but we must also now work for other states and ensure that, you know, uh, you know, our presidential candidate, Tinubu, gets a win from this state. You know, and this was a meeting. He was having this meeting, but you, you know now, things will always, uh, the walls have ear. And they were strategizing on how. So they should get people together. They should do all they can, okay, to ensure that APC, you know, people can hear and see that the East have come to accept APC. Now, logically reasoning and thinking with all that is going on. Remember what, what happened to our very own brother, you know, the one that is an actor who wore a dress, a civil dress. You know what I'm talking about now. A dress, a civil dress. And they, and they arrested him, took him. Thank God that he's a Nollywood star. Otherwise, maybe you wouldn't have been hearing about him anymore by now. 
A lot of youths have gone like that. People's children, people have lost their children in no small way. And you think, logically reasoning, all things being equal, the people of that state, eh? even in the southeast, when Oshun state was taken, what was the comment that was coming up from, uh, from the southeast, from Imo state precisely? Oshun is just the tip of the iceberg. And they told uh, Hope to get ready, that he's next. He's also one of the governors who will spend only what ten or. That's what they told him. If really our vote is going to count. And so what they are doing, areas where they know that other people may have interest, they are trying to hold those area, you know, hold this area very strongly. Trying to have a strong hold in those area. Listen, my people. Don't just get your PVC. Don't just vote, but guard your vote. And don't do it alone. Make sure you are working with the people in synergy. You are all working together. So much so that, you know, there is, there is power in unity. This is a carcass meeting that was held. And these are some of the words that we are being said. How they were strategizing and planning that the Southeast must deliver. In respect of all that is going on, the Southeast must deliver. So you can see for yourself some of the things that are going on. How will the Southeast deliver? Do you think that everybody, for instance, is up for the Southeast? If yes, so why do you have to... Why do you have to manipulate or maneuver things? You know, if you see, I keep saying it again and again, that any government and any people who have done what they should do, any government and any people who have, you know, when you had the opportunity, you dotted your I's, you crossed your T. When it is time for election, you don't need to do too much. Nigerians are not very greedy people. No, they will be the ones. See, they will tell you after you, now you again. Unless... You know, constitutionally speaking, your tenure has ended. That's when it has ended. They will, in fact, you don't need to cast votes. They will stand for you. They will make sure that you have the vote. They will do all they can. They say because you have made things okay for them. So there's no need for, there's no cause for alarm. Just make sure that there is good road, light, water, what they need. You know, all that is in place. All you need is in place. So these are some of the things that are going on. Nigerians are not selfish people, I can assure you. Nigerians are not. They are not. So these are some of the things that are happening, you know, and why we all need to get, get together and ensure that we do not allow these things to go on any further. Leave us a comment. We'd love to hear from you. Don't forget to like us, share, subscribe. God bless. Have a lovely and a fantastic day. From us, it's bye for now. Bye.